Good morning, guys. All right, today I'm at the WeWork in Tempe, and I've got a beautiful view here in the executive boardroom, conference room, and I just wanna remind you guys to do what you love. Thank you, WeWork, for the on-site location, hashtag not sponsored. And you know what else is not sponsored is this video, because I actually bought this Arduino Pretenta machine control with my own money. So there will be Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below if you guys do wanna pick up any of these products that we do talk about in this video, that's gonna help out the channel tremendously. But in this video, I wanna unbox the Pretenta machine control, the PMC, the new product from the Arduino Pro line of products and kind of compare it against some of the, the home or the IoT version of their Arduino line of products that you all know and love and are familiar with. The Arduino Uno was released over a decade ago. So what makes this something you're gonna to wanna to trust for your industrial Internet of Things control systems? We're gonna find out in this video, so stay tuned. So I wanted to start out by first unboxing the Arduino MKR IoT bundle. And what that's going to do is going to give you an experience of what the consumer grade product unboxing experience is like and compare that directly against the Arduino Portenta, the Arduino Pro Portenta machine control product, which we'll, which we'll unbox next. Here you'll see what this kit includes. And the first thing you'll notice right away is the Arduino MPR 1000 IoT board. Set that aside. It also comes with this fancy little LCD display. We'll set that down. Next we have a full package of jumper wires and also this nice little breadboard. And the Arduino MKR shield plugs conveniently into that little breadboard. And you have all those jumper cables to wire up your circuits. Here we have this full box of goodies. I was going to open it, but decided not to. There's a lot in there. And then last but not least, we have this servo motor. So there's a lot you can do with this. And... It's a pretty nice little kit. Also comes with this little USB cable. Let's check out the PMC next. The box just feels nice. It has a nice soft touch. And it has the Arduino Pro green and black color. I really like that. Nice shiny box. And on the back, you'll notice the Potenta Machine Control stands out as a powerful computer to unify and optimize production. Arduino Pro. Arduino Pro Potenta Machine. Oh, so nice. So nice. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to buy one of these. This is so nice. This is worth it right here. Let's take the box off. Let's take the... Nice snug fit. And inside, right away, you'll notice the user manual. Thank you for choosing an Arduino board and supporting the community. Open source, flexible, easy to use. And you'll have a static shield bag with the PMC inside of it. Kind of got stuck there. Let's take it out here. Oh, yeah. And there it is. The Arduino Pro Portenta Machine Control, an industrial product ready to optimize your machines for the industrial Internet of Things. Beautiful. It 
So after getting to unbox the Arduino Pro, the Arduino Portento machine control, um, what I do like about it is that for one, it's a hardened industrial product. You can't say that really about this. This is really more of a prototyping board. This is more of a Tinker IoT project. This is an IoT device. But what I'd also like about it is the cost. You know, this is under four hundred dollars. This at the time of this filming, it's not available yet on Amazon. Uh, but I will leave a link to pick it up on the Arduino store. If there is an Amazon link, I will put that down below. I haven't had a chance to hook up any equipment to it yet, but what I do like is all of the array of inputs and outputs. Um, and then these programmable digital ins and digital outs, they talk about th that being giving you flexibility to make uh, modifications to your machines down the road. Um, this is really for OEMs. So if you make a, let's say you make a skid, you make a, you say you make a, a water treatment, you make a water treatment skid, and it's based out of a, a shipping container and you make a hundred of these a year. You make a hundred of these shipping ca container water treatment skids in a year, for maybe for the oil and gas industry, right? This would be a perfect product for that because it meets the price point, right? It speaks the Industrial Internet of Things protocols. It has an MQTT driver, has multiple. Uh, it has an MQTT driver by the Arduino folks, but it also has several open source drivers. What I like about that is that gives us the opportunity as a community to develop the MQTT with Sparkplug B formatted payloads. What we like about that is the interoperability with other industrial platforms. So it's funny because some people say MQTT with Sparkplug B creates vendor lock, but those are just said, that's just said by the people that have refused to adopt Sparkplug B. So who's really vendor locked? MQTT with Sparkplug B has been adopted by, it was first adopted by Ignition, but then it was shortly there adopted by Factory Studio which is like one of Ignition's counterparts. They're kind of siblings in the same ecosystem. Then it was adopted by Flow, Canary Labs, all sorts of hardware devices, like all sorts of PLCs. PLC Nexus, I think they're gonna be adopting it, but the ones that already have adopted it, like uh, Maple Systems has this. All sorts of people have this Sparkplug B payload. It's not a vendor lock. It's, it's an open standard, it takes eight, eight uh, hours to implement. So we're gonna implement it. That's actually my challenge to the community is, can we implement a Sparkplug B formatted payload on this device because then this becomes the perfect device to put out on your skid, like this water treatment skid that we're talking about, have it publish its data into an infrastructure and then you could just view, you can view it, you have your client view it from a mobile app, right? All, all lightweight, edge driven, open architecture, report by exceptions. So the other thing is, you know, it gives you a ton of flexibility with analog ins, analog outs. Those are normally pretty expensive on other PLCs. Where I would not use this, if I was doing a control system, if I was like a plant, if I was running a plant, I would definitely not use this to, to run my control system. This is just for more so monitoring, analytics. Maybe there's a few start and stop commands that you can do because you can do writes back down securely to the edge using MQTT with Sparkplug B, or just any MQTT for that matter, but it also has Wi-Fi, which is nice, and Bluetooth. Doesn't come, it didn't come with a, it did not come with a antenna, which I thought was kind of weird. And the other thing is that this is a USB micro. I wish that was a USB-C. This is like the, um, the industrial brother. This is like the PLC brother of, the PMC brother of the Arduino H7, the Arduino Portenta H7. And that one came out about a year ago. And that one is like groundbreaking in the sense that it has two processors. And when you're loading your sketches or you know your Arduino programs onto that Arduino H7, gives you the opportunity to load it to either processing core. It actually really reminds me of like the PLC Next, how it has two processors. And so these, these Portenta devices really start to blur the lines of you know, your home IoT projects and your IIoT projects out in there in the plant in the industrial world. If you were gonna do a control system, I would use something like the PLC Next, right? But if you're just gonna do, right, you're an OEM and you're just selling this product to your end customer, you wanna keep that cost as low as possible. You may change it down the road, but you, know, you have plenty of flexibility in terms of inputs and outputs. It gives you those main key parameters and it's IIoT ready. So um, ultimately, I would recommend picking up one of these. I would recommend picking up. I would recommend picking up one of these PMCs. I also unboxed this Arduino MKR IoT bundle, and 
I did like this, but one of the things that I did not like about this was that it did not come with like an educational uh, kit, but I actually found after this, there is a IOT educational starter kit. And so I'll also leave a link to that down below. If you are interested in Industry 4.0 and Internet of Things, definitely pick up you know both of these if you have the ability to on the IIoT side and the IoT side. Get started, play around with the technology, and also if you haven't already, register for our webinar, Architecting Your Industry 4.0 Career. I'll leave a link to that down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.